Okay guys, that was quite possibly the scariest thing in the world for me. Uh, I was in the middle of working on our better tunnel program for our turtle when my computer crashed. It straight up shut down. I was afraid I lost my computer. Luckily I didn't lose my computer as you can see. However, I almost lost this world. If you're looking at my inventory, you can see I don't have any damage on my tools anymore. That's because when I got the computer running again, uh, pretty much this world was corrupt. And that wasn't cool. This is a piece of dirt because... Well, what I had to do was make a copy of this world's folder, make a new world using the same seed as this world, copy in a few of the files from the new world's folder into this world's folder so that we have the same seed so generation of the world is going to be the same we're not going to get chunk errors we're not going to get flat walls between chunks and newly generated areas and pretty much I had to start back at the beginning of the world with no inventory make my way back down here uh, that was fun. That's why we have a piece of dirt here. I had to punch my way through this cobble because I didn't have any items at the time. Luckily, uh, the world save data is pretty much back up to par. Um, I used NEI to give myself back my inventory. And I think this is pretty much what I left off with. I grabbed footage from the previous episode and this is what I had at the very end of the episode so this is what I gave myself I uh, hope, hope I'm not cheating too much uh, don't feel like I'm cheating too much just letting you guys know I'm going to be getting back to working on our tunnel uh, I, I told our, our turtle to go ahead and expand the tunnel I did dig out some of this some of the ores here I didn't give that back to myself because I think I already put it on, the, put it in the box before the world got corrupted. But our turtle should be down here. Uh oh. I hope he's okay. This doesn't look good. Let's go ahead and start balling this up. Well, something to note about the turtle is, with the default program, he will place down bridges if he comes across a pit. That's nice. Uh, it doesn't look like he needed it right there, but... Oh, here he is. I think he's done. Let's check it out. Okay, found a bit of coal. Bunch of cobble and dirt and gravel and some tin, iron, and redstone. Not bad. Let's grab that from him. Uh, shut him down. Pick this guy back up. I think his job is done for now. I'm going to grab the resources on the way back and work on that program some more and I'll be back with you guys. Okay, I actually think I have a nice little program set up. Let me check that again. 
Not sure if I did something that I should have in this code. Let me see. Okay, inventory, dig, select. Okay, yes, yes, I did. Awesome. All right, but our turtle doesn't know about this program. It's on this computer and this computer only, and that's where this disk drive is going to come in handy. But first, we need a disk. So I'm going to head up to the surface. We're going to try to find ourselves some reeds or sugar cane or whatever you want to call them, but you make paper out of them, and the paper is what we really need. So I'll be back when we go f when we find some. I think our best bet for sugarcane is going to be over here in the swamp. Yeah, it's probably our best bet. Alright, found some. So it looks like it was in the swamp, just uh, on the edge of the swamp. I'll leave those there. I have a feeling we're going to need more in the future. Oh, that is so awesome. Alright, back to the cave. And just to make a note, guys, right here at the ravine, I did end up building a staircase down through the marble here. A little bit shorter, don't have to go all the way back around through the ravine to get to our base camp. All right, we're back. Now, with this sugar cane, we can make some paper, just like so, like like we always make paper. And then we just put a piece of redstone on top, and we get a floppy disk. Awesome. Now, just put the floppy disk into our disk drive, access our computer, go into our list and you can see that we now have a disk entry on our computer and that's pretty much our floppy disk so we're going to copy our better tunnel program into the disk just like that so if we go into the disk we can see our better tunnel program is now on it all right now let's get off of our computer grab our new floppy disk and let's go play with our turtle now put our turtle on here actually let me clean up my inventory real quick don't worry we're going to be getting tons of that stuff okay guys it looks like I derped up and gave myself some farmland when I was giving myself my inventory back that's uh... <laughs> that's not cool I'm going to fix that real quick All right fixed. Okay, well, let's find a new spot for our turtle to start digging out. Um, let's head this way a little bit. Actually, let's just have him dig right through this wall. That sound like fun? That sounds like fun. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to put him down right here, and we need to go grab our floppy disk drive. You know what? Uh, I don't feel like taking that one. That one looks good where it is. Let's just make a brand new one. Same recipe. Floppy disk drive. Alright. Actually, we're going to need a couple more items in order for this guy to function optimally. I'm going to get those crafted up right now. Okay, for this we're going to want a piston. Uh-oh. Looks like I derped up again. Damn it. <laughs> oh, I am not... I am not an NEI user, as you guys might have guessed. So let me fix that up real quick. Alright. Got ourselves actual wooden planks now. Let's get that piston. Got 
got our piston. We're going to put that in the center here. Put a piece of redstone on the bottom. Two wooden planks on the side. And cobble all around. And that's going to get us a transposer. We're also going to need a chest. Just a normal chest. Let's take that out here. We're going to see how this works. Alright. So here's where our guy is going to be. Now what I've told him to do, let's put the floppy disk in here, is I've told him that every seven blocks he's going to turn around and he's going to take the block out of his second inventory slot and he's going to put it down. That's where we're going to place torches. So he's going to use torches in order to light his path. He's also going to use his first inventory slot to make bridges. So we're going to give him one cobble to start off with. He'll get his own on his way. Also, since we had a little bit of a problem with his inventory overflowing last time, what we're going to do this time is when his inventory gets to the point where he has all of his slots filled up, he's going to immediately turn around, come back, right down this left hand side here and he's going to dump all of his stuff right here. Now since he can't access an inventory he's just going to dump it on the ground. That's what the transposer is for. He's going to march right up to this transposer and he's going to dump all of his stuff into the transposer and what that's going to do if we grab some cobble I can demonstrate it. He's going to dump it out and it's going to get shot out the back and that's where we're going to place our chest. So let's see how well this guy does. If I did everything correctly, this should be good. Let's open him up, go into his disk drive, and we're going to say run better tunnel in a distance of, let's say, 64 this time. Uh-oh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, it looks like he's doing okay now. Um, I forgot to put a do after one of my... Yeah, a couple of my for loops and uh, as soon as I put that in he's running just fine right now let's see if he does what he's supposed to as soon as he gets up to seven blocks into his path he's going to turn around and try to put down a torch I hope so let's wait and see oh there it was Nice. I don't need that right there anymore. I'll we'll put it and yeah, we'll put it right there. Alright, now let's see if he knows how to dump out his inventory. Now actually how I coded it is that he checks the ninth slot, this bottom right slot, and if that has something in it, he's going to turn around and go dump out his inventory. He's not going to dump out his entire inventory, he's just going to dump out everything after the torches. So these bottom six slots and this slot where the dirt's at right now. So let's go ahead and slap a piece of dirt right here and see what happens. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not good. Well, he dumped out his inventory, that's good. Let's go fix this. Terminate. Terminated. Okay. I need to go fix that. I'll be right back, guys. Alright. I found out what the problem was. I derped up and put a piece of code where it shouldn't go. Let's put our guy back at the start here. Get him ready to go. Put our floppy disk back in now that I have the new program on here. Uh, I cleared out the torches so they don't get in his way. We're going to start him back up. So go run your better tunnel program at 64 blocks. Look at him go. Alright, when he's caught back up to where he was last time, I will bring you guys back in. Alright, here he is. Putting down torches like a good boy. Now he's going to go back to mining. Let's fill up his inventory like we did last time, just to simulate an overflow of his inventory. Put some iron in here, put some dirt in there, and we're going to put this in the last slot. Okay, now as soon as he's done with this section, he's going to check it. Okay, alright. 
He's running back down the left-hand side, and let's see if he does what he's supposed to. You can see the transposer going. Now his... Uh-oh. Gotta fix that. Damn it. I'll be back, guys. There's the derp. I didn't tell him to pick the frickin' inventory slot. Okay. There we go. That should do it. Let's get this copied back onto our disk. I gotta delete the one on the disk first. Now we can copy it onto the disk. Better tunnel. Alright. Grab our disk back and get back over here. Get my torch out of the way. Put them down, put the disk in. Grab the torches that he dumped in there. That wasn't nice. Alright, put torches in here, give him a piece of cobble. And let's start him up on his way. And once he's back to where he was before, I will bring you guys back in. Alright, he's back to where he was. Now let's overload his inventory just like before. Put some copper, put some iron, some dirt, maybe a piece of redstone, and then put the cobble in the last slot. As soon as he's done, he's going to run all the way back to the beginning. And let's keep an eye on his inventory this time. Nice. Emptying out everything. Uh oh. Alright. Well, I think this actually does work. It's just that he didn't have anything in those other two slots, so he compensated. So sue him. Give those back. Nice. Alright, I'm going to leave him to finish up. I'm just going to assume that he's actually doing what he's supposed to be doing, and I just didn't do a very good job of demonstrating. <laughs> You see, Mr. Creeper, I planned for this. Last time I was working on computers, you snuck up behind me while I was coding and blew up my computer. That's not cool. Now just die. Oh! <laughs> you guys almost trolled me. Jerks. Put that back. Alright, I'm impatient. Let's go see how he's doing. Ooh, lava. Good time to demonstrate his bridge building capabilities. Now you notice he does wait for gravel to fall down. There we go, place it down some cobble. He waits for gravel to fall down. This way, he isn't going to let the tunnel collapse. Nice. Yeah, some tungsten up there. Pretty worthless unless you're using equivalent exchange right now. How's he doing on inventory? Oh, found another cave. Well, this guy's not afraid of caves. He's just gonna truck along. Mobs are gonna ignore him. As you can see, he is a block. So he can't be hurt. Good job, dude. Let's go check out this cave. Oh, well, that was short lived. But we did find some more redstone. Nice. 14, 13, 12, 11. 10. So this tunnel is completely safe. The lowest light level along this tunnel is 10. <laughs> I didn't even see him go by. Nice. Oh, he's back. Uh-oh. Hey, bro, come back here. You ran out of torches. There you go. 
Yeah, he'll pick up some cobble or dirt or something. I wonder why he did that. Alright guys, it looks like a single piece of cobble oop, fell in his last slot. And that's why he keeps coming back. So let's try to catch up with him and give him a piece of cobble so we won't do that anymore. Let's see here. Three. That ought to do. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. I think it's because his selected piece. Yeah, his selected inventory slot was still at number 9 from the last time he dumped out his inventory. I'm going to have to fix that in his program. But for right now, he's close enough to being done. I don't feel like we have to restart him. Alright, looks like he's done. If he's just sitting here, that means he's done. I made him come back when he's finished tunneling. Looks like he finished 249 blocks total. Yeah, that sounds about right. Let's go ahead and take these things from him. Shut him down. Goodbye, little guy. Pick him up. Alright, so let's see what we got. We got some copper, rubies. I'll clear that out for now. Let us move him to a new spot so he can keep mining. Right, right here sounds good. There we go. Okay, put our disc in and get this guy going. Give him some torches. A little bit more than that, maybe 20. And a piece of cobblestone, and we will say run your disk program. Better tunnel, uh, go with 64 again. Alright, looks like we're getting stocked on redstone. We're also doing pretty good with iron, tin, and copper. We also have a ton of cobble. I don't need cobble. We don't need cobble. Put our flint in here. Again, really? You don't have a buddy this time, do you? At least that guy was actually hissing at me. Not like the guys on the steps that just weren't doing anything. Alrighty, guys. I just checked the time. We are actually over our time limit. So I am going to... Stop the recording here and we will be back next time.